What'd you do before you started doing internet stuff? I worked at a furniture store. Did fine. Doing what? You definitely weren't carrying shit. No, I was not carrying anything. Okay. But <laughs> I did finance. So I did like oh, sh- these scammy loans with like 30%. You did scammy interest. loans? Yeah. I don't know how it was legal. No offense if they're watching, but it was definitely like borderline illegal. You, it was wait. like 90 days, same as cash. After that, it like. Oh, this is like full on scamming. Full on. Yeah. Whoa. Was that fun? It was. I was really good at it. Now like you just scam people it. for f***ing pictures and sh**. Yeah. Without the scam. Yeah. It's all right? relative. Yeah. yeah. Do you like doing this sh-? I love it. Yeah. I mean, I don't particularly like love, love it. I mean, I love that I get like to like take care of my family and stuff. Yeah, of course. I think it's really cool. I'm in a really good position. Yeah. It's you're 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 interesting to me because like you obviously you do really well. You you have this obviously the oddity about you, right? Yeah. The, the fact that you're a dwarf. Like, does that ever make you feel some sort of way about the people who are like buying things from you? Because I guess I'm just genuinely curious. Are people like asking you to do weird shit? Like, um, sometimes, yeah, like child's play and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, like but, we uh, should track those people down. Yeah. You know what I'm honestly. saying? You should be a part of like a sting. Me and Steve talk, joke about this all the time. Like we can like we can get a ton of those mother like wrapped up. Yeah, like those videos that people do, like catch them. Like exactly. Yeah. You could be a part of that. You could change. You know. Yeah, it was weird out. at first, like when I first started doing it. But then I was like, seeing my wires come in, and I'm like, dude, I'll, I don't care. Like. So. <laughs> f- okay. So before, okay, I, we'll talk more about this in a second. But before, before the internet stuff, you were working at just like a. You're doing finance, obviously, back end stuff for a furniture store. Mm-hmm. Before that, like, where did you grow up? I grew up in Florida. Yeah. Um, complete, like, like, no, like, nobody was there. Like, it was very, like, small town. Um, also, like, didn't have money, anything like that. Like, single mom. My dad's a drug addict, so. That's. Yeah. But my mom awesome. is absolutely amazing, so I owe her everything. Um I went to high school for the first, like, regular public school for the first two years. Yeah. And then it started to become too much of a distraction with kids and stuff, so I did. So what, are, are, what do you mean distraction? People, like, talking shit, like Yeah, yeah. Just, but what do people say, though? Just anything. Like, they're kids. Like, they'll yeah. just say anything. They're finding themselves and just will do anything to just hurt someone's feelings. So I take it to heart a lot, so it was definitely, like, overwhelming to the point where I was not able to focus on school so my mom took me out and i did online so there's i was doing i don't know how accurate this my research would have been but like do you know how many people who have dwarfism are in the u.s is there is this an accurate number do you know those any of those stats no i was looking it was like thirty thousand. i don't know if that's true really i mean if that's true it's like you're super rare yeah (laughs) also like none of nobody in my family is small so like they were saying how like yeah like it doesn't matter if like it just can happen randomly yeah and now so, I can change the odds going forward. Now it's like 50-50. So you could have a kid and it, it, it could be... Average height. Yeah, average. Or it, or it can be... So over. before, like, because obviously you have all the success now and it's related to your size. Mm-hmm. Um, I just find it so interesting. Like if you, before you had this, like right now you have all the success and you make great money. I know doing the, the OF stuff, um, which we'll talk about more in a bit. But before you had this, before you knew you could have it, would you would you have rather have an average size not at this point no. not at this point no no no. so before oh, this before, point before yeah was yeah. it some your whole life you're like i wish i just was that yeah it was definitely confusing for me like ever my sisters are all average height so i was like why like i'm struggling with like the normal day-to-day things that no one even thinks about yeah so it was like difficult because i'm like why me you know what i mean but yeah. after that like obviously it comes with age and there's nothing i could do about it and i always knew that i would eventually like capitalize off of it i just didn't know that it would be to this degree you know like what did you think you were going to do also like i wonder what when when did you first realize like oh fuck, like i'm not like all these other people oh um, in that in that in the you know the height sense probably like first grade yeah yeah, because everyone's also so so little, like pre-K to kindergarten. Yeah. So like first to second grade, I was like, okay, everyone else is growing. Like, why am I not? <laughs> like, but yeah. I did your parents know that that was going to happen to you? Like, I'm sure, did they know right away? Like, is this something you know from birth? So the doctors couldn't like diagnose me as a baby. 
they were just my they didn't know like too much about it like too much research and stuff um so my mom was like they immediately took me back into like the I don't know what it's called when you have to like take the child and like put it into like isolation or whatever so they were like trying to figure out what was wrong with me because obviously like my arms were shorter like my legs were bowed they were just trying to make sure I was healthy and stuff so my mom was extremely terrified and then they came back and was like your daughter's a little person and then she got really really excited along with my dad at the time so and then he just took too many drugs and fucked off or what went yeah. on with him literally like he was i think he was doing drugs like while my mom was like carrying me yeah so you don't speak to him at all um not like up until recently no like I talk to him here and there just because I feel Comes bad. Comes back now because you got money or what? Yeah, I no. tried to like, yeah. No way. I You're tried serious. To, yeah, yeah. I tried to like, like I flew him out from I think South Dakota or whatever. And I tried to like show him like, maybe this will be like what makes you healthy. Like I can show you that you don't have to struggle anymore. Like I can help you, you know? And then I like gave him a couple grand, bought him a truck. And then like that day he just went back like to South Dakota. Well, that's something. I mean, you can't change that kind of stuff. And be no, but that w- I did it for him that time. It wasn't for me. Like, I'm healed. My mom is, like, everything. I don't need you to be in my life. I did it for you, you know? Yeah. So. So what's the wor- what was the worst part about growing up and, and having to deal? Was it just, like, people just talking shit or people, like, making you feel, like, separate or? Yeah, it was just just bullies. Like, they just really ate it up that i was so much but it's smaller like what, than what them. are you bu- what are you bullying i mean everyone I everyone gets bullied but mine was just so like obvious like easy kids are easy so target sh- kids are kids so are sh- so sh- yeah hate them that's it just doesn't make sense though it's like you you know that someone obviously like they it's not something you can decide right you can't right. be like i'm gonna be like this so it's like that's the thing that sucks like when when bullies make fun of people where it's like something that they just literally you don't have control over right you know that's just the lowest form of bullshit and, and it also has something to do with themselves too like not also it entirely has yeah. something to do with themselves i mean that's the thing that's so interesting about bullying in general is just it's a it's a, a non-dealing with whatever you're going on in here so you just make someone else deal with something externally so you feel yeah. better about it which is just it's the most pussy thing and once possible. you realize that it like nothing nobody can touch you like that's what I've realized too, especially with like all the comments and stuff that I get. Most of them are very, very positive on like my videos and stuff, but yeah. obviously there's still ones that are. These are, are like grown adults saying random. A hundred percent. Most of them are grown. <laughs> and then I look at them and I'm like, okay, you have no wife, like no kids. You're clearly very sad. And I like try to dissect into it of why they're saying these things. You know what I mean? I'm not like, yeah, well, fuck you too. You know what I mean? I'm just like, I can fix you, you know, like, just come, come talk to me, you know, like, they're let's probably, find out. The they're probably the same mother though, telling you to do some weird in your fucking only exactly. thing. Yeah. It's so interesting. So, th- so that, that part's really interesting to me though. It's like, do you feel, ki- doesn't it make you feel kind of like, do people ask you to like, like you said, like little kid, like child's play shit. Mm-hmm. Doesn't that make you feel like what the fuck? Like, yeah. I mean, I don't give into it. I don't do any of that. Oh, you don't all. do any of that. No, good, good. No. Not I don't know. Obviously, I haven't, I'm not subscribed. No, yeah. no offense, none. No worries. Um, but I'm always interested. Like, did, that must be one of the biggest requests. Is some weird. Mm-hmm. Is that one of the largest requests? I think so. That's yeah. what's like. Where the f- are these weird ass people? Because it's illegal. we need to find it's them. Legal. It's like legal pedophilia. We need to find them. Yeah. Dude, we gotta set up a sting. Me, you, and Steve. We'll get we these should. guys. No, I'm dead serious. Steve's no, dead serious. No, I would 100 percent do that. He 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 would be so about this right now. Let's do it. Okay, well, I'll set that up.